Hey what's up guys, this is 3D Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial and this time I want to talk about how you can manage medium to big projects, okay, where you have several shots and scenes, alright, so this is a short movie that I did last year and you can see it's just not one, one single scene but you essentially you have different shots and scenes right so this one is taking 77 seconds and there are multiple shots in it all right and i just want to show you how you can manage these projects and the magic is happening with google documents okay so i have a spreadsheet where i have basically a production plan with my scenes and then i divide it also into shots all right i manage it with some drop down menus where i can see the progress and i also track my daily work time all right so let me just show you how you can do this all right and just a quick intermission if you want to learn more about 3d stuff basically cinema 4d x particles octane and this month especially about productivity tools and my workflow as a 3d artist then this is the right place for you okay it's patreon.com 3d bonfire and i think i already have like 110 tutorials there almost 100 scene files all right so all of the good stuff is there i just hope to see you there and please don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell on youtube okay that would just help me to grow the channel thank you so much all right so in a couple of minutes we start from scratch and build a part of this plan but i just want to quickly go over it so this is my shot list for the whole movie uh, it's a short movie of course so it's not that long but even 77 seconds of 3d animation can take you quite some time okay so you can see these are my scenes so this is scene 10 and i go with increments of 10 just that i can insert new scenes later so i could insert the scene like scene 11 if i feel like it's needed but anyway so this is the scene tokyo by night raining and then i split it up into shots so we have a distant view on tokyo all right and we have a skyscraper and window shot all right and of course to get this division into scenes and shots first you would have to make a storyboard and an animatic so you know these are my scenes and these are my shots all right but i think this is self-explanatory by the way there's also 37 minutes where i talk about sketches storyboards style frames animatic based on this short film and another lesson with almost the same length where i talk about the brief ideation reference and story okay and there are also tutorials where i explain several techniques that are used in the short movie all right let's continue so basically I have these main scenes. So the next one is artist room. Then we go to the artist's screen, the oracle and the prophecy and on and on. And you can see, for example, the scene 20 has more shots already like the first one. So this is just depending on your scene, of course. And we have a shot like first detail shot to show the room of the artist. Okay, so we go over the bike and the posters. The next one is showing the trading cards and the hardware and on and on all right so this is how you divide your project into scenes and shots all right and then i have another row which is called milestones and the status okay and here i like to make a colored drop down menu okay so when it's not started it is still gray then you go to an early stage of course you can name this however you want but i just go with this percentage here okay the next one is halfway there okay so i already can see on the colors here how far the project is developed next would be advanced and then i go to finish all right and the last one is rendered so when everything is done you basically should have all of these ones on blue okay so this is a good sign i also knew for this project i have roughly 200 hours okay so this is very specific and most of the time you don't have to be so precise but i exactly knew i have 200 hours for this project okay and then i made like this estimated time and i went through my scenes and i estimated based on my experience how long will this shot take me all right and since i already did the animatic i had a good feeling okay this could take like 10 hours maybe eight hours all right or maybe this one is taking 12 hours okay and then this one is calculating it for me okay of course this is pretty simple but hey when the system here can automatically calculate it for you why don't you use it right and of course i will also show you how you can do that stuff okay so let's go on to the actual work time and this one is also calculating it for me so when this one is 10 and this scene just take me two hours then i can see in total the sum is 12 hours so okay 
when I estimated 18 and I worked only 12 on it, that's a good sign. And I think you can also see when I put this one to 10, also the number down here, the effective time in the summary is going up, all right? So this just helps me to calculate my project and stay organized and don't lose time in a scene where I spend like, okay, I spend another day and another day, put more details here. And then this one is going up to like 50 and then I recognize, oh man, okay, how can I do the whole project, all right? So just be organized and and I think the system will help you. All right, and you can see in this gray area, I just put in the numbers. These are actually packages or days of work. So maybe on one day I worked six hours here and four hours there, okay? So I can type in these numbers, then this number is calculating. And from these two numbers, you will calculate your whole time that you spent in this scene. And then this number will be calculating all of the summary hours of the different scenes okay so you can automatically set this up and it will just help you to have a good overview anyway for this area with my work days which will be added here i have a separate document so you can see this is my whole document it's called short movie shot list but actually it is not containing just a shot list but also a sheet so you can add sheets here for my costs and for my daily work time. All right, so let's switch to this document and you can see that I made a list of my work days. So this is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right, so I finished this one last year. Don't be confused, this is an old document. So I actually worked all of these days, but let's just check this document here, okay? So I already knew when I started the project that I only have this time frame, 22 hours, all right. I just write it down here. And this is the time that I calculated for the project before I started. But then I went up to say, okay, I have exactly 200 hours for this project, okay. And then you can see I have this structure for all of my days. So I knew on this day I worked on which shot. So I divide the days into shots, all right, and I know my task for this day. And I also give me additional tasks. This is more or less just a framework, okay, but this can change dynamically, of course, when you are in the scene and you can recognize, okay, I need to spend more hours here or there, then this is really dynamic, all right. But it already helps you to give you a frame for the day and you know where to start and uh, which direction you have to go. Oh yes, and there is another column for notes. Okay, so I was thinking about buying a city kit or is this an X particle setup? And basically this is just for notes. And when the workday is done, I just put in my hours here, all right? So this was 10 hours, eight hours and on and on. And this number I basically put also into my shot list. So when I worked four hours on this scene, I just put a number here and a six number here when I worked 10 hours in total, four here and four and six here, all right? So this is the basic framework. And I would say next, I will just show you how you can build this one. It's pretty simple, but uh, let's do that in the next step, okay? And I think this next step of building the production plan and uh, schedule for your daily work time will be exclusively on Patreon, okay? So let's end the YouTube part here. Thank you so much for listening. I would love to see you to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye, guys.